So we're gonna be testing out the 3090 by Evga, the FTW3 specifically, versus the 7900 XTX by Merck, I believe, the Merck 310. And I'm wondering which card I should keep. So on this screen right here, we're at 93 to 91 FPS, that's the range. 60 to 70 frames per second is the range right here. Let me show you the graphic settings. Full screen borderless. The resolution is 5120 by 1440. High anti-aliasing quality. V-Sync is on. Anisotropic filtering 16. Upscaler is off. And then everything else here is set to ultra or on, except for motion blur. That's off because motion blur is worthless. Now we're just gonna drive. We're at 66, 68. We're not gonna really focus on driving well. 74, 73. Feels decently smooth. 70, 68. So somewhere around like 60 to 70 frames per second still. 74. That's actually sped up a bit, huh? 76, okay, we had a big stutter right there. 78, it's the highest number we've, 80. It's the highest number we've seen yet. Where's a good stopping point here that I'll recognize? This all looks pretty similar. Okay, we'll stop at that wooden fence. And our last uh, frames per second is uh, 71, 70, something like that. Okay, now let's test the 3090. Like I said, I do like this card. Some of the, the quirks that it has are frustrating. Um, the ones I'm experiencing personally, there's a white flash that takes place maybe like four times per gameplay session, but it kind of throws me off. And if I'm driving, it kind of like, it's, it's a really quick flash, Whoop! like the whole screen just turns white for like a tenth of a millisecond, but I, I can detect it. And that's very frustrating. I can't get rid of that. I've tried to with a lot of different methods. I just can't. The driver support just doesn't seem as good. I get higher frame rates overall, but the frame pacing is what makes things feel like the game is actually chugging along rather than like, I, I would rather get 120 frames smooth than 170 rugged, jagged. The card's pretty much brand new. I've been running it for about two months. Now I, I have read other people that have that white flash issue. They've been able to correct it if they're not running multiple monitors. But the problem is, I run multiple monitors and I don't wanna go back to a single monitor setup because it's just so much more useful for me to have a side monitor for chat, sim hub, OBS, things like that. Also, I have a new album out now called Wake Up. Go check it out, link in the description. If you like music, do yourself a favor. Okay, well there is the GPU. It still looks brand new because I never took the plastic off there and I probably never will. Here's the tiny 3090. So much lighter, so much uh... <laughs> it, it looks like a small card now. Very interesting. Pop it in there. I can't believe how small this card looks now compared. Now that I got my new handy dandy kickstand, and she is level. Before we continue, let's go ahead and make sure this GPU is all cleaned out. Let's hook her back up and get all the drivers installed. I love this case, but this thing weighs like 100 pounds. I'm not even joking. Okay, we are back. We have the 3090 installed, and I'm a bit disappointed, actually. I think my memory was a bit rose-colored. Um, the first thing I noticed when I popped in the, the 3090 was the fan noise was insane. It seems like it's a lot louder to me, so, so that's gonna interfere with recording, with voiceovers. That's one strike against the, the 3090. Uh, strike number two is Okay, I'm just gonna show you here. I ran through the stage once, so all the, uh, what's it called, the uh, the shaders could cache because I, I, it wouldn't be fair to just do like the first run dry after I've been playing this game for a while on the AMD card. You know, all, all the uh, shaders had been cached. So, 
I did play the stage so it, it makes sure and loaded everything it needed to load. Um, I also uh, used DDU to uninstall all the AMD drivers and any, any remnants. Just it's all gone. Uh, and then we're also on the, the newest drivers for NVIDIA um, released on the 4th of this month, which is uh, like six days ago, I think, um, dur during the filming of this video. So um, all the graphic settings are exactly the same. We will try DLSS because DLSS is usable compared to FSR on this game and see what kind of performance we can get out of that. Same stage, same car, same conditions. And I also noticed that there's like kind of a, a flickering that takes place when, when the game is loading with this card. I don't know if it's related to the, the, the driver. Um, so we're looking at, at about 50 frames per second right here. And um, with the AMD card, from what I know, and now we're actually 48 frames per second. The, the AMD card, I was sitting at 60 to 75 frames per second, or up to 78 frames per second. Um, right here on this screen. Let's see what our, our lowest is, 64. Seems to be pretty stable, 64 to 65, which isn't horrible, but but I, I think I remember the uh, AMD card being higher there. And again, it, it, it's not entirely about the frame rates, it's about how smooth it feels, but this feels smooth. We're at 52, 49 frames per second, uh, 51, 52. So 52 it seems to be the highest here. Now let's see when, when we're in motion, we're gonna stop at the, that same wooden fence. This feels uh, worse. It, it doesn't feel like jittery, but it, it does feel like a lower performance card. 52 frames, 50 frames, 52, 53. Not getting any, anywhere near 60. Uh, okay, we got a 60 right there, 160. 51 might be our lowest so far. Well, no, I think we had a 48, right? 52, 53, 55. Okay, this is the fence. And we are ending it on 51 to 52. So it seemed to hover around the low 50s. And let me just show you my graphic settings again. So i show you I haven't changed anything. All this is the same. And all of this is an ultra and motion blur is still off. Now, one thing that NVIDIA cards have that the AMD doesn't is DLSS. Uh, they have some, something similar with FSR, but FSR is a software-based um, thing instead of a hardware-based thing. So DLSS is built into RTX cards. I don't know if, if it's all RTX cards. So let's go ahead and turn on DLSS with this card and see if we can get something comparable to the, uh, the AMD card quality because I, I want it to be nice looking okay um, we, we do have a pleasant image here and we actually did jump up to 64 frames per second let's go ahead and restart the stage and see what kind of numbers we get and see if it feels better than the AMD card this already feels a lot better pretty close to the 7900 okay we have a we had a little bit of a hiccup there feels pretty close to the 7900 XTX with DLSS on but I do notice some visual artifacts and some go extra ghosting. And if, if you look at the rock faces, they kind of smear in some ways. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe it's just on my monitor. Not like so bad to where like it's not usable. Okay, and here's the, the fence. Let's see what we, we stop at. And we're ending at 65 to 67 frames per second. So I do have a frame counter, and I realize the frame counter is off screen, unfortunately. But uh, just take my word for it, I'm not gonna lie about this stuff. So DLSS does introduce a lot of weird visual artifacts, but it is getting similar performance though. The reason I'm comparing these cards is not only just to kind of, you know, for experiment's sake, but because I'm gonna probably end up selling one or the other. Pros of the 7900 XTX, or it's newer, so it might have longer support. Uh, two, it is more powerful at the end of the day. It has more potential. Three, it's quieter. It's quieter. The fan noise is quieter. Uh, four, it's lower power consumption for a higher amount of performance. The cons are uh, the bright white flash that occasionally happens. I'd say like four times per two or three hour session. It's annoying. It doesn't, it's not game breaking. It doesn't really affect the performance of the system. It's just annoying. Um, the infrequent driver updates 
are a problem in my opinion. I, I think there should be more, more development going on, making things better. The frame pacing seems worse on a lot of things, but maybe that's just my rose colored glasses. I don't know because now that I, I had a back to back experience, it almost seems like they're pretty similar, honestly. It's a larger card, so it might not fit in your setup. And it seems to have more difficulty with OBS running in the background for whatever reason. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just something I, I'm, it's a placebo thing. I don't know, but it seems like it runs a little bit worse with OBS, which is the main tool I use for streaming and recording what, what you see right now. I'm going to do one more test here. Okay, so this is called the Mediterranean Stage 2. This is a super awesome stage. I think, in my opinion, it's Bardoff's best work. If you want this stage, you can go to his Patreon for $3 a month. I'll be able to notice right away if the performance is lower. So I'm gonna let you know. Okay, it doesn't look bad. And immediately, we are at 109 frames per second. No, it actually looks very, very strange. Like, like super strange. And we're getting less than 100 frames per second. I, I can't believe I'm, I'm saying this, but I actually might go back to that uh, AMD card. I might be looking at things with rose-colored glasses. Don't get me wrong, it's still very, very playable. It's very stay. Okay, we dropped in the 88 right there. It feels pretty stable though. It doesn't feel like like it's jumping all around with the frame frame rates. Oh, look at that. We flipped over the fence. Let's get our car back on on track here. Now, by the way, if you don't own B BMG and, and you're into any kind of sim driving, um, you need to get Beam and G. The 7900 seems to be a better overall card. I mean, it should be. It's newer, it's more powerful, more efficient. Okay, we're on a fresh DDU. We just removed all the NVIDIA stuff. Um, we did it before the graphics card install as well, but I figured why not do it again just to be sure. Okay, let's go ahead and go to BeamNG. Okay, so now we're launching BeamNG with the 7900 XTX. This is on the latest drivers as well. Okay, and, and remember, OBS is running in the background, so I can get better performance. If you're a streamer though, if you make content, you know, OBS is pretty essential, or, or some kind of program like that. 150 frame, 51 frames per second uh, compared to the 90 to 100 of the 3090. It feels noticeably smoother. It looks a lot better. 125, 120. We did dip to 107 right there. Much higher numbers uh, on average, like 20 to 30 frames per second higher, something like that. And just everything looks a lot better and, and more solid, less ghosty. Even with DLSS enabled, the NVIDIA card couldn't match the AMD card in raw performance. And that's without any kind of frame interpolation from the AMD card. That's that's pretty crazy. The difference is, is pretty night and day, honestly. Um, as I said, rose-colored glasses. You know, I remember my 3090 being a beast. So when it failed, I remembered it as a beast in my head. And then when I got this card, this card was more or less a compromise for me because I didn't want to buy another 3090. I wanted to buy something cheaper than a 3090 new and ho hopefully something more powerful but th this was a compromise for me because of course i want a 4090 of course i want a 5090 of course i want a 6090 but it, it was kind of like an in-between card for me in case i wanted to get a 50 series card and they're coming out soon so i didn't want to buy a, a like a 4090 and then you know a month later the 5090 comes out and then my 4090 is worth a ton less out of nowhere but as it stands right now the 7900 XTX is the better card for my personal use. It does have some weird things. I haven't seen the screen flicker yet. Usually it happens around now, but it hasn't happened. So maybe, you know, with the, the, the fresh Windows install, maybe with the, uh, the new driver updates, maybe that's been fixed. I don't know. I did a clean install of everything. I am impressed all over again with the 7900 XTX. I had been thinking in my head that it wasn't that much better than the 3090, but it really is a lot better. It is noticeably better. So, what does this mean? I think I've decided I'm going to sell the 3090. Have a good day. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in a future video.